Hi crafters. So I am so excited. I got my three swaps back from the Halloween banner swap that was hosted by the Spotted Owl. I love group swaps because the whole point is you don't know who you're going to get and you don't know who's going to get yours. So everyone just puts their best foot forward and I can tell that all three of these are going to be amazing. I watched every video but there was like 25 videos so I didn't retain all of those details so this is going to be so new to me um, opening these up I'm so excited so I'm going to go left to right and um, yeah I'm just going to get started so we're going to start with Marisa Swap she is the pink ape on YouTube and Instagram and she is absolutely incredible if you're not following her please go follow her she has a thousand ideas she posts things like crazy and she's just absolutely brilliant so definitely give her a follow but look at how gorgeous this is oh my gosh this is beautiful she's got like all the really cool die cuts too look at that i love that skeleton it says trick or treat and she always does these like she adds like texture elements and layers it's always like a lot of layers a lot of textures in her crafting and this is a really cool skull let's see what's in here so this is her dangle and this was one of the requirements that we were supposed to submit it was a chunky dangle and an embellishment and um a banner and look at how pretty this dangle is i'm really loving the charms Look at that beautiful spider one. I saw this skeleton. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. That is so cute. I love it. And I have skulls, but I don't have them like this. This is a little bit bigger and the, um, the paint on it is a little different. I really like it. But it has a little word sentiment. This is just so cute. Okay, there's the hook. And then she has some ephemera pieces in here. And what is this? Oh, and it's just like a little sticker. So it's like a little sticker of an apple. Flower with an eyeball. Some potions. A little happy pumpkin. And then I believe if I'm not mistaken, I believe some of these pieces are from my favorite collection called Spellcast. So that's really appreciated. Look at how beautiful the embossing on this flower is and all those little petals that she had to put together. This is gorgeous. And oh, stamps, like she has all the stamps. I swear, by the dark of the night, Halloween. This is really cute. And then we have a little paper clip that was holding the bag together. That really cool bag. Ooh, we have a whole collection of things in here. So we've got this little MDC. That's awesome. Oh, and it has our information in the bag. Very good. And the Scrap Diva Skull on this cute little tag. I love the black and white. And then the Spellcast Ephemera on a tag. That's awesome. And again with the texturing in the background. And this has like little studs. That's really cute. And then, oh yay! So I had one of these a while ago and I lost it. <laughs> so... I got it back. Yay. Thank you so much. <laughs> and we have awesome Kit Kat candies. I appreciate those. And before I get into that, I just show off the pocket and the gold pep. That's awesome. And I asked, I thought this was brilliant too, the way that she displayed these um, scripted words. I did a project with the scripted words, but she just like backed them up and then she stuck them on 
top of here and it just looks so cool like that especially with the little fringe in the background and then this is her banner I'm loving all the packaging that she made oh wow that is so cool <laughs> oh my gosh I love this she used ribbon in the background and it's on fabric and then she stitched the sides. That's awesome. Look at that. Oh, I love the back. I love that. I love this. That's really cool. The shape of the banner is really cool. Like everything. This is just cool. <laughs> like Everything she made is just so cool. I really love it. Oh, that little spider. It's like little teeny spider. It's hanging on this piece right here, but it looks like it's crawling on the flower. I love this so much. Oh, wow. Thank you, Marisa. That was really fun to open. So this is huge and this, um, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, so this is from Shelly, who is Sap Becker. This is super freaking cute. I'm so excited just to like kind of come in here and, and tear things apart a little bit. <laughs> um, I love the way that you packaged it all. It looks really fun. And this is so much candy. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and see what's all in here. Nice. Kit Kats and Sour Patch Kids and Twizzlers. <laughs> so many goodies. And I really love this. So I'm going to keep that. And this little coffin is so darling. We're going to open this up. I really like this die. So this little coffin is so cute. I need this die. And I just really, really like the way that you decorated that. And then you have sequins inside. So cute. I love this little apothecary bottle that you found. Where did you get this? That's a really fun mix. I'm loving these colors. That is so cute, Shelly. Good job. I love this. And then this looks like it's her chunky dangle. And so pretty. So it definitely goes with the collection that you used and the Luna collection. And um, it's just so pretty. I love like the collection of beads that you have. This little cat is so cute. It looks like one of the, I used a little die cut of a cat on one of my banners and it looks almost like that. I love it. And this cute little broomstick. How sweet is that little tiny bow with stitching on it? Come on. <laughs> That is so cute. And I love that you use the tool inside of the, um, like surrounded by the paper fringe. I love that. And I love like, where did you get this? That is so cute and perfect for a broom. It's like this little plastic stick. Oh, okay. Before I open that. So this is her information. Everyone should go follow Shelly. She is awesome. Sap Becker on Instagram. And this is from 31 Collection, which is like one of my favorites. Cute. I love how you distress the mummy. That's so cute. Oh, and you've got a little Frankenstein. And this little layered bat. I love the little eyelash trim that you added in there. So cute. Thank you for those. Look at how sweet this is. I can't wait. Love the packaging. You did so good on your packaging on, on everything, seriously. And this, it's a bat, right? I think it's a bat on the back. And oh, yeah, and it's just so sweet so cute i love the little balloons with the ghosts in the background this little girl is one of my favorite pieces from the luna collection 
and the chunky flowers to my cute pumpkin the little candy corn this is just the sweetest and i get to own one thank you so much and i almost left this little guy out oh my gosh look at this little piece right here this little ghost in a little candy bag so cute Okay, and the last one is from Tamara, who is Urban Forager. And I saved this for last because it was completely covered, and I wanted to save it for the surprise. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh, such bright, fun colors. I love how all three entries are so different from one another. You have Gothic, then you have Pastel Cute, and then you have this bright orange, like, party colors. Oh. Oh my gosh. Tamara. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, here we go. <laughs> These are amazing. And, oh, thank you so much for adding some for me. These are amazing. Where the heck did you find these? They're huge. Look at how pretty those are. This whole thing is just, it's just really gorgeous and huge. Like, <laughs> can't stress that enough. It is huge. Is this a little pine cone? Yeah, it's a little pine cone. Um, we've got a little pumpkin, some really pretty beads mixed in here, a little pastel ghost, a couple of little pastel ghosties. Oh, look at this little glass pumpkin. I like your packaging too. You all, you do really great packaging. Um, this is so pretty. Wow. And then we have these little paper clip pieces. Is this fabric? I was wondering what the material was in this. I do remember um, watching the unboxing on yours. And I wasn't sure. How do I open this? Oh, just like that. Ah, easy peasy. Yeah, it's fabric. How cute. And oh, I like the paper clips too. They're different. They're super round on the bottom. These are so cool. I like different paper clips. I just, I don't know why, they just appeal to me. And I really like how you did that. You stiffened up the fabric, or you backed it up, and then you stitched it. That's really cute. And there's the cat. I really like how you did this bag topper too. I, I'm learning from you right now. So it's just got naturally has tension on the top and I'm going to figure this out because I might steal this. <laughs> scrap lift it. Sorry. Scrap lift it. <laughs> Not steal. Um, oh, that's her banner. And then she's got a little extra in here. And I want to look at that with the little flags. How cute. She's got two of them in here. Oh, they're kind of like in this little pocket. You see? They're like in this little... So clever. So you can see them stick out and they'll just stay put. Again, with your packaging, you're just brilliant, Tamara. I love this. Okay. And then you have this little pumpkin. Cute. Very cute. Let's pull this guy out. Fun beads. I love the colors that you went with. It is. It's just like a party. I love. I love rainbow Halloween anyway. Like whether it's pastel or not, is if it's multiple colors, it totally appeals to me. And then this one was just hanging on there by a clip. 
really cool bag topper. I love this. I even love the way that you folded it. That's so cool. And this is her banner pennant. And it's a coffin. And it's got these really cool pump. Oh, no. They're flowers. That is so smart. Like, you're just so smart, Tamara. So these are flowers that look like, like the top down view of a pumpkin. And then you added a little spider on top. <laughs> and then um, you've got 31 on a bat. And this chunky glitter on top of the rosette. I love the way that you crinkled this. Happy Halloween sentiment. That is so cool. All the stitching details. And here's the back. And this is the result of the swap. This is going to be my new banner that I hang up in my room for the rest of the month. And thank you ladies so much for participating because I got to be the new owner of these banner pennants and I'm so excited. I loved everything that came my way. Thank you so much to the Spotted Owl Studio for hosting. You did a wonderful job and for everyone else, I will provide the links to everyone below so you can find them easily and follow them. And um, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!